Hello, everybody. Um, thank you for everybody that has contributed to the GoFundMe. And so far, I think we're looking at around a little bit under 30 donators. I'm still trying to reach out there to get more people to donate. Um, because once again, I said, you know, 600,000 subscribers, um, how many can I get to actually come out and contribute um, to see if there is a future for this Kung Fu school? Um, I want this school, this school to, to grow and prosper. It's, it's time for that. And it's not just growth and prospering for my physical school in Chicago, but also for its growth in um, in YouTube and my direction and why I'm online and sh you know the, the question is should I teach online through making videos and tutorials like what other some other youtubers do and the donations kind of show like hey this can happen and you can be appreciated by people out there um, who appreciate teachings and who will actually pay for these teachings so this gives motivation to to see that I can potentially teach online and, and feel appreciated and be appreciated and that potentially people can learn a part of Kung Fu and martial arts and better their lives from, from online training even if they don't meet me face to face. I always had doubts of teaching martial arts and kung fu online. Um, I felt that it would be abused and and just basically um, used for wrongful purposes. And another thing, I just never feel, felt appreciated when it came to teaching. You know, once again, you look at my YouTube and you see how long I've been here I've been here since December 2009, and it's already um, 2022. So I'm heading, you know, heading on like almost 13 years being on YouTube. And it started off as a channel where I was teaching a lot, um, and I gained a lot of appreciation. Um, I used to check my messages a lot and I felt appreciation from people it kept me motivated to teach what I could back then what I thought was um, you know you know what I thought was appropriate to teach online you know and then at, at that time I was opening my school at the same time so you look at it you know, back then on YouTube, I wasn't getting paid money to create videos, but it was a great promotion. It was a great marketing, and it, it just felt great connecting with people and positive energy and getting motivated by the community, you know, the YouTube community. So what happened, um, if you follow me, you know, I opened the school and then you find people to pay you to teach directly and obviously you know you need money to support the school and yourself and your family so i had to prioritize the the, the school um the physical location over the youtube even though the youtube was fun um because the youtube wasn't paying you know the people you know they would give you compliments and thank you, but there's no payment going on. So um, 
I had to prioritize the the physical school location. So that's been going on for you know quite a amount of years, and then opened up the opportunity to make money online from YouTube um, through ad revenue. Um, so what happened was some ad revenue started coming in and that provided more um, motivation for the YouTube to try to, to, to get more information out there, try to see what people like, what they don't like, because you want to make more ad revenue. So at that point, sometimes it's about teaching, other times it's just about creating some noise, getting some attention. And that's not necessarily hand in hand with teaching because um, you're just trying to see what, what people, what will grasp people's attention. So YouTube started to pay money, started to get exciting. And then we started to go into a dark path, um, or I did. Basically, overly focusing on criticizing um, different styles and different people, and um, that that went into a dark tunnel um, because it started to get a lot of negative attention. Um, but part of the reason why I did it back then was, for one. I was too immature to see what what I was doing, why I was wrong. Um, for two, um, I thought at the time that you know, hey, you know, negative publicity is better than no publicity, and as long as I get a lot of views, then I'll, that's all that really matters. Um, and then the dark spiral started to go from there. The negativity, you know, I would say something negative, people would comment negative. And then we just started exchanging negative energy back and forth um, to the point where um, it led the sh to the shutdown of the YouTube channel of the school. And the, the YouTube channel got shut down for a good, at least a year. And at that point, it was, it was a dark point for, for me and for the school, for my family. Um, it was a difficult time, you know, so there was several challenges throughout my life that brought me to this point. Um, one of the challenges was right before I opened the YouTube channel, um, I got like wrongfully terminated as a police officer um, due to racial discrimination. And that was a tough time, obviously. You know, I was making good money. I thought I had my future set. And, you know, I had five children and, or four children and then about to have five. And then, then I get wrongfully terminated. And then I didn't know what to do. And that's when I opened up the, um, the YouTube. And that's when I opened up my school. So, I went through that period where there was a lot of struggle, you know, didn't know what was going to happen, but it forced the creation of uh, Freddy's Modern Kung Fu and this, this school and the creation of the YouTube channel. So the next dark thing that happened was the shutdown of the YouTube channel. Um, the YouTube, I felt so much energy from it and I loved it so much. It almost was like my identity. It felt like, you know, like like the reason of why I'm here. Um, just connecting with people all over the world, um, sharing the beauties of Kung Fu. It was just such a, such a blessing. But it went through that dark tunnel when I kept, when it, when it, when it came to the criticism and trying to get attention, trying to make money off of negative energy and then it backfired um it got my sh my channel shut down because people just hated me so much at the time that they just um you know they did whatever they could to get rid of me and they did succeed um 
So my channel got shut down for a whole year. And I, YouTube at that time said, you know what, like, you're banned for life. And at that point, it was a very, very sad, depressing time in my life. Um, but I, I was like, you know, I didn't shut down the school. I refocused my energies to 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 put energy, more energy into the school to, to try to make it grow and survive. So that's what I focused my energy on. And so over a year or over a year passes by, and what I did is I wrote a letter to YouTube and I deeply apologized for whatever I did that was wrong. And I said, you know, I'm not gonna ever do that again. Please give me my channel back. Um, and miraculously, you know, they reinstated my channel. And once they did that, you know, one of my, one of the things that I um, decided to do was like, don't speak, don't say anything. But if you do speak, make sure you say positive things. And that was my golden rule, you know, because I'd rather have a channel than no channel. I'd rather have a life than no life. And YouTube felt like, it felt like the, my life, you know. And so that's what the big shift became. And then it started to be, okay, let's just create some videos, just put some videos out there and just be positive, have fun. And then a few years go by and then um, came up with this idea, with this, you, you know, this Kung Fu Kids, um, just sharing more videos with my children training and training in the kids class. And then next thing you know, well, my channel blows up. Um, it came from maybe like 50,000 subscribers or something like that, or 10,000 subscribers or something like that, blowing up to like over half a million subscribers. And that right there um, filled the school and provided so much income and financial support for the school. And that happened for about a period of four years and um, the YouTube ad, re ad revenue was consistently coming in to really support the school. So the YouTube was doing really well at that time. And my school has always been up and down, but for the past two years, especially with the pandemic, it's been really hard to get people in there and it's been really hard to retain people and um, the physical side of the school, you know, has always been suffering, you know, just not doing that well. Um, and then the YouTube was what was taking care of things. Um, but the whole lockdown, crackdown onto the kids' videos from YouTube where they're saying, oh, you know, you're not allowed to target ads towards children, things like that. I wasn't basically even allowed to even have kids in the title of any of my videos because then they said that you won't even be able to monetize the video anymore and things like that. And it's like, it went to a significant drop of income as soon as that law passed and Google got sued by the government. And then, um, from there, the, the, the school's YouTube channel has been going down um, significantly income, just keep tumbling and tumbling and tumbling down to the point where, and then the pandemic happens and to the point where, as I stated, it's like you're not really making much of anything on YouTube and then things start get pretty scary and you start getting really worried, okay? If there's no YouTube coming in, then what's going to happen now um, for the future of this school? You know, and now I think I'm in a different phase where it's like, okay, you can't make money off of 
kids, you know, videos with kids. So now it's like, how can I make money and make a living with YouTube as support? So my idea right now is to attempt to teach some things on YouTube and to accept donations for those teachings. So if people truly appreciate these teachings and then they start donating money to show appreciation, then it gives me an immense amount of purpose in, in being online and trying to teach um, my art and the Chinese Kung Fu and the martial arts online and trying to, to, to teach it, you know, the right way according to my perspective. And it can be done. It just requires a lot of effort on my end and it also requires donations on your end. Um, and really, it doesn't need to be a lot of people watching the videos. Um, and I realized that because for one, I used to be like, well, why should I put a video out there teaching something that I should only share with people who actually pay me? And then you put the video out there and then you don't get any money from the video because nobody's giving you money. And then for two, the video is not that popular. So you only get like a few hundred views, a few thousand views. That's not making you any money from ad revenue. And then next thing, and the next thing is that other school owners, other teachers could just steal your teachings and then just use it for their curriculum. I just felt like it was just an exploitation of artists and artistry. And like, it, it, it doesn't make sense. You know, you give away something for free that you've trained so hard to develop and create only for it to just be stolen from you and then profited from, and then you don't get any of those profits. It's kind of like an artist who makes music um, and then he doesn't make any money from the music, he puts the music out there, and some person who's more popular takes the music and makes money off the music and doesn't give any money back to the artist. That's kind of how I felt. But now there is potential for for it to work because with these donations with the GoFundMe you know what it could mean is that people there could literally be 50 people all donating just one dollar and then that makes it worth it for me because at least I'm making fifty dollars for a video that I created um, where I'm trying to teach something um, about this art and um, doesn't have to have millions of views. It could just have a few thousand or even a few hundred. But if those few hundred people donate money, then it will make sense. Okay, you know, there's people benefiting from this video. They appreciate the video, so they're donating money. And now that they're donating money, now, you know, um, it makes it worth it of why um, I'm gonna be putting videos out there teaching things so and it also targets the audience that I really want to develop in my own practice and in my channel is like the adults that are ready to learn about the deeper aspects of Kung Fu and the martial arts, the philosophical aspects, um, the meditation, you know, the intricate techniques and, you know, just a higher level of, of, of learning. And I feel that most of my subscribers in my, in my thought process are probably the younger, where they just like to see, you know, cool things, they like to see children training um, in martial arts and progressing, but they 
are not necessarily there to learn. They're just learn. They're there to maybe be entertained. But if I focus on the audience that truly is there to learn, um, then, um, and then they're willing to donate, then it provides a whole new direction for the for the future of the YouTube channel and the future of the school. Because then I don't have to find people directly to teach. I already have, you know, 30, 40, 50 or more students that want to learn from all over the world and they're willing to donate, then that will make it all worth it. It, it would make sense where I could create a video and even if there's just a couple hundred views, but these people appreciate it so much that they're donating money for it, then it gives me a whole new drive and then I will redirect all my focus into teaching online, teaching the way that I feel that Kung Fu and martial arts should be teached and integrating the, the meditative, um, the softer side of the martial arts and the philosophical side and, you know, showing the different forms and how to get better at the forms and, um, you know, just all sorts of things I could teach. I have so many things to teach, but I just don't have anybody, enough people to learn. I'm trying to find dedicated students. You know, I've been here for 12 years and, you know, on, on, you know, from my physical school location, I only found, you know, like three paying students that has been with me for over five years or more. And then I, you know, I met my wife, she's been with me for five years. And then I got my children, five of my children. And I have my father. But other than that, you know, nobody's really stuck to it. But with YouTube, being on there for 12 years, going on 13 years, if I could find some dedicated students that are willing to donate and contribute um, and really want to learn, you know, this Kung Fu, then I will teach. You know, if I see the donations coming in, I will teach, you know, and there's so much to learn, so much to teach, so many possibilities and potentials, but it starts with the donations. You know, because once the donations start coming in and then people truly want to learn, then I will, I will create the content. And there's no limit of how many videos that I will keep putting out there teaching various aspects of this art. And I'll open up the comment section and just have people start communicating, um, opening up a whole network of um, sharing ideas and sharing energies where people can connect with other people across the world and build a community of people that that really value this way in the in in the martial arts and this way in kung fu you know because there's a beauty you know when you can connect with other people and i want to create that community by opening up the comments and having people meet each other and um build build a family you know so i don't need a million students no but just just a few dedicated students that are willing to pay for my time then it'll make it worth my time you know and then i will focus my energies um in these videos that i create you know so it's part of my idea to see if this is what um, might be the future of of this of my expression of of kung fu, you know. And as the money comes in, and it support, you know, it will support the physical school location. And if it supports the physical school location enough, there can be opportunities where the school can be further developed and expanded, and there might be ways for people to to come visit and have a place to stay 
and um, train while they're here and and stay here for a few weeks or a few months and and really get deep into the teachings but in order for something like that to happen you you need money and you need support to build a facility or to have a facility where it could support all that you know and um it can happen you know you could learn a lot online and then come visit my physical school location every year or something like that and then start balancing it out with with teachings directly so i could see it happening with the donations without the donations then i don't see it happening because if i don't if i can't make any money off of my teachings then i'm just exploiting my own art and um or allowing others to exploit my art and take my creativities and um steal them and use them and profit from them and then i get nothing you know and that's not gonna help my art grow but if i get the donations then it'll provide a whole new um, motivation on, on teaching so it's kind of like you know a school teacher you know school teacher might make forty thousand a year fifty thousand seventy thousand hundred thousand but the school teacher is getting paid. They're not there for free. You know, so if you try to make a school teacher teach for free, they can't, not for long. They might be able to do it for internship or temporarily, but they can't teach for free for a long time because they need money to support, to support themselves. So same thing with me, you know, I'm a Kung Fu teacher, you know, Sifu, I can't teach for free because I need money to support, you know, my life, you know, and my children and my future, you know. So when, when, when I get donations in for my teachings and I can actually make money teaching, then it gives a whole nother purpose, a whole nother motivation in, in, in how you teach and why you teach. And it opens up the opportunity to really impact change in this world and I feel that I could really help this world progress to a higher state of consciousness um, and enlightenment but these are higher level teachings that that children and teenagers are not ready for it's really um, for younger adults and just adults in general to understand these concepts and these ways and um, you know I'm, I'm excited to potentially go on this path but we'll see you know we'll see what happens so you know I'm open up the comments go ahead and leave a comment and what you think share your ideas and thoughts you know should I teach online um, and should, will this work so the link for the GoFundMe is below. Um, please click on the link and donate some money if you can. If you cannot, then just please continue to support the videos, watching the videos, clicking clicking um, the like and the ads and all that stuff. And, you know, a lot of people have come through, but really we need more support to come through because once again, I don't wanna merely survive in, in this art, I want this art to finally thrive. I want it to be successful. I want to reach out to more people. And in order to do that, you know, you need money to do that. You know, look at these big companies like Apple, you know, like they're like, they have so much money and that's why they're successful. You know, even places like McDonald's and Walmart, Target, they're successful because they have a lot of money. You can't build success without, like, money. You know, so even the place, my physical school location, I had to invest thousands of dollars to build it in order to even have a school. You know, so I, my, my vision is to have a, this Kung Fu school be like almost like a college university where it's for martial arts, it's for Kung Fu where people could come here and learn 
for four years, eight years, 12 years, and come out transformed. Like, that's what I want, you know? And in order for that to happen, you need support, you need money, you need help. And any donation helps. You know, 100,000 is, is my initial goal, but I want, I really want to aim for half a million and just keep going from there, honestly, you know? Because it's about the future of the school. It's about the future of Kung Fu. Is there a future? You know, I don't want to just be living paycheck to paycheck, you know, barely surviving with the school. I want I want the school to actually profit where there is money being made so it could build and continue to reach out to people. I want the money that's contributed to be reinvested into the school and its growth because people need these teachings you know they need it um for their their well-being you know for their health you know so when you contribute to this cause it's contributing towards health it's contributing towards well-being you know um it's contributing towards the you know enhancing the body the mind the spirit you know, it's it's not that different than contributing to your church um, or to your local school fundraiser and doing things that are good for children and promoting health. Um, these are all things worth contributing towards, worth donating towards. You know, and if you're if you're capable of tipping a waiter money, you know, for them to help get your food then, you know, if somebody's gonna take the time, you know, their time out of their schedule and teach you something that's meaningful and impactful, you know, just ask yourself, isn't that worth some type of tip or donation? You know, right now, I made this video and it's taking over 30 minutes of my time. Um, and my time is worth money. You know, I don't have to do this, but when people, don't appreciate and they don't like want to pay for anything and they just take everything for free then it just makes it like what then what's the point why am i investing my time into something where i don't see growth i don't see opportunity for expansion you know so i'm 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 done like with continuously feeding into um the idea that that things should be taken for granted, you know? And I think my time has been taken for granted by so many people and I need to, to be able to find the people that truly value my time. And once I could feel that you truly value my time, then I'll be more than glad to give you my time to help you in your growth. Um, and then with that money, um, it could build a bright future for this school and provide many opportunities um, for people all over the world. Um, so that's my vision and I hope that it will continue to just um, grow from here. So once again, click on the link below um, to, to donate something to the GoFundMe and then um, feel free to leave a comment, um, share your ideas, your thoughts, um, your positive energy. All right, so I plan to to load some videos in the future testing this idea of teaching online and then uh, see what type of response it gets with the uh, donations and then from there um, um, just go go from there and 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 see if this is something worth it, you know so. Once again, um, thank you for the people that have been supporting me for all these years and the people that, that went to the GoFundMe page and donated money and everything. And thank you for watching. Thank you for your attention. Um, you know, thank you for everything. This YouTube community has really, um, you know, it's really, really positively impacted my life in so many ways. And I really want to give back. I really do. You know, so I'm truly thankful for for this community and I'm truly thankful for you. 
um, even though, even if we never met each other face to face, I'm truly thankful because, you know, there's a lot of challenges in life and it's hard to go through these challenges without support. So I want to thank you all for your support. Take care.